Hello, this is part 12, shell ejection. In this video, I create a shell ejection for the shotgun. And to do that, I use the shotgun B ammo mesh. This is the shell. I create this particle based off of that, that shell mesh. On the player character, I create this blueprint that handles the shell ejection. Under content, third per sheet, weapons, add new folder, I'm gonna name it particles, double click on particles. Right click, select particle system. I'm going to name this P underscore eject shotgun B. Double click P eject shotgun B. Right click over the particle emitter. Data type, new mesh data. Select Mesh Data, under the drop-down, search for Shotgun B, select Shotgun B underscore Ammo, select Required, Check kill on deactivate. Check kill on completed. Emitter loops enter one. Select spawn. Under spawn rate expand that and expand distribution under constant put zero under burst and burst list add element expand this on count put one select lifetime change distribution to Float constant, change constant value to 1.5, select initial size, under start size, reset the default. Select initial velocity. Enter zero here, 50 here, zero here, 10 here, right click over particle emitter. Go to acceleration and select acceleration. Select acceleration. Expand this and expand this. For max on Z, put minus 200.
right click, rotation, init mesh rotation, select init mesh rotation, for max put 3, 0, 0, and for minimum put 1, and then 0, and 0. Save this and close. Double click P, eject shotgun B. Select display bounds. Under bounds, expand fixed relative bounding. Put in minus 50. Minus 50, minus 50, 50, 50, and 50. And then save this and close. Double click player character. This is the new code for the shell ejection. I also added a pin to the sequence. Now the pin labeled 3 goes to the delay, and the pin labeled 2 goes to the new code. This is ammo eject here and here. This is P underscore eject shotgun B. When you're done, compile and save. I'm going to show a way you might make it easier to test. Double click P eject shotgun B. Go to initial size. I'm going to change this to 25. Now you notice the shotgun shell here is larger. Save this. Now the shell's larger, so you can make adjustments to the particle, and it's easier to see what it's doing. I'll press play to test.